Okay. Today I'm going to discuss about the introduction to strains and modern decolorizers and the fixatives uh, which are used in the microscopy. Just uh, this lecture will just contain the introduction to these topics: stains, mordants, uh, decolorizers, and fixatives. Okay. So uh, moving further with the definitions of each and every term. Okay. So basically, uh, what is staining techniques? As you know, the staining techniques are used in the microscopy, which basically enhances the contrast in the microscopic image. So stains and dyes are frequently used in the biological tissues for examining, okay, for examining them, the biological tissues in the microscopes. So stains may be used to define and uh, examine the bulb tissues or you can even say the highlighting for example muscle fibers uh, connective tissues cell populations uh, classification of different types of blood cells that is rbcs wbcs platelets etc and also helps helps to differentiate between organelles within the individual cells okay a dye next one uh, dyes a dye may be defined as an organic compound containing both a chromophore and a oxochrome group which is linked to the benzene rings and what is chromophore a chromophore is a group which basically imparts the color to the compound okay each and every each and every dye has a chromophore okay which is responsible for the color in that compound and the compounds of benzene containing chromophore radicals have been called as chromogens okay so this is the basic definition of a dyes okay so various types of stains and uh, staining methods are also used okay which helps us uh, to render the microscopic and semi transparent objects visible okay for example uh, bacteria usually are transparent semi transparent varieties okay so with the help of stain we can view them in the microscope with variety of colors okay depending on the type of stain depending on the type of stain you are going to use okay it also helps us to reveal their shape as well as size also okay and to show the presence of various internal and external structures also for example it may be flagella uh, bacterial capsules etc to produce a specific chemical or a physical reaction aids okay for example by use of uh, gram staining we can check out whether the bacteria is gram positive or uh, gram negative is it spore forming okay etc and variety of uh, other staining as well so basically a stain okay basically what is a stain a stain is a substance that basically adheres to cell giving the cell a particular color depending on the stain which you are using and chemically a stain may be defined as an organic compound containing a benzene ring plus a chromophore and a oxochrome group okay so this is what a basically a stain is simple if you want to remember it simple a stain is an compound organic compound which contains a benzene ring plus a chromophore and a oxochrome group so the presence of colors gives the cells significant contrast so that they are much more visible in the microscopes and one important thing different stains have different affinities for different organisms or different parts of organisms okay so this is the reason we are able to differentiate different types of organisms or view the specific parts of the organisms okay so a stain okay a benzene you will know it's an organic compound chromophore a colored compound okay or you can say color okay oxochrome well, what is oxochrome it's it is related to the ionization properties okay 
benzene plus chromophore gives a chromogen okay and chromogen it's an colored compound oxochrome which chromogen allows the dye to form a salt compounds that adhere to the cells so we can simply say that the oxochrome helps the stain okay stain to add the or to uh, let's say uh, give color to the cells by attaching to the cells okay in a simpler terms but more proper word is to add to the cells okay now uh, uh, there are different types of dyes acidic dyes and basic dyes okay dyes of commerce are not acidic or basic in basically true sense but terms do not refer to the hydrogen ion concentrations of their solution that is ph okay so this distinction depends on the whether the dye portion of the molecule has a positive or a negative electrical charge okay now let's just discuss some of the examples of the acidic dyes before uh, we move forward if you want to view the complete video please download the science edutech app and download uh, sorry please download the science edutech app and register yourself and please purchase the basics of microbiology course okay if you want to view the complete video and also subscribe my channel vivek petney and also subscribe to the sagar sonara channel okay i am again repeating it please download the science edutech app and the link is given in the description okay and purchase the course basics of microbiology to view the complete video okay 